Namaste Wembley! Come on! We want them to hear that in Mumbai. Let's do it again. Namaste Wembley! Team India, Prime Minister Modi, a huge welcome from Team UK. Now on our countries, we're used to meeting on a cricket pitch, and it can be, yes, a pretty tense battle. But here on this football pitch, with these giant rangolis in British and Indian colours, and with a gathering like this, I know one thing. We are all winners today. And what, what a week it has been. The Prime Minister of the world's largest democracy addressing the Mother of Parliaments. Paying, paying his respects at the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Sharing vegetarian food with me at Checkers. <laughs> Seeing the great Thames River lit up in orange, white and green. And yes, visiting Buckingham Palace to meet with the head of our Commonwealth, our longest ever reigning monarch, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Here we are at Wembley, where Prime Minister Modi is set to speak to the biggest gathering of the Indian diaspora he's ever addressed. A truly historic moment. And yes, it is the most spectacular celebration of British-Indian relations our country has ever seen. But let's think for a moment. Let us think for a moment about what it means. Let me tell you what British Indians mean to Britain and to me. Over one and a half million people, you are teaching in our schools, policing our streets, starting up our businesses, serving in our armed forces, and in every turn, displaying those values you hold dear, family, responsibility, enterprise, hard work. These are the values that our country needs more of. So I hope, Prime Minister Modi, you can see what I see every day. British Indians putting the great into Great Britain. we can be in this country. We can be the most successful multiracial democracy on earth, and that is thanks to British Indians. People, people who came here from Goa, from the Punjab, from East Africa, and yes, and yes, from Gujarat. Can It wasn't quite on the scale of the one India had last year. But the British public did something momentous. They elected more members of parliament of Indian origin than there have ever been before. With Rishi Sunak, Alok Sharma, Suela Fernandez in parliament, with Shailesh Vara in the Ministry of Justice, and with Priti Patel sat at my cabinet table. I know one thing. It won't be
be long till there is a British Indian Prime Minister in Downing Street. So our, our great relationship, it is about people, but it is also about prosperity. Prime Minister Modi, tomorrow you will see for yourself the cars being built by Jaguar Land Rover. Indian investment, creating British jobs, regenerating the West Midlands and selling cars all over the world. That is what I call teamwork. And you know, one in every 20 private sector jobs in India is created by a British company. And here, our third biggest jobs creator from foreign investment, it's India. It proves that the global race for prosperity doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. What is good for you is good for us, as well as people and prosperity. This relationship is about our potential. Prime Minister Modi and I both govern in challenging times, but we are united by something more important – the scale of our ambition. Now, in India, Prime Minister Modi, you have some big plans, and we want to be right there with you, helping to make them a reality. You want, you want 100 new smart cities. We've got the planning expertise to help you deliver them. You want a digital India, and we've got the tech know-how to help get that done. You want to give Indians the skills they need. We have the education and training institutions that can help. And when you're taking India to the world's top table, we are with you. And when it comes, and when it comes to the United Nations, we know what needs to happen. India with a permanent seat at the UN Security Council. Now in, in Britain, we have got some big ambitions too. And I know that in our mission to deliver that stronger economy and that stronger society, you're right here with us as well. And more than that, we face, together, the biggest threat of our generation, the terrorist threat, a threat to our very existence. And once again, we stand together, shoulder by shoulder. You suffered on the streets of Mumbai. We suffered on the streets of London. The cause was the same extremists who want to divide our country. And together, as we showed today, we will defeat them. So, Team India, Team UK, together we are a winning combination. And now, I'd like to welcome the man you've all been waiting for. never govern the world's largest democracy, but he proved them wrong. He rightly said, he rightly said, Ache Din Anawali Hey. But with his energy, with his vision, with his ambition, I would go one further and say this. Ache din zaro ayega. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. 
in welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi.